Please all stand. We now pray the morning offering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the Faithful Heart of Joseph, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for the intentions of your Sacred Heart, the salvation of souls, reparation for sin, the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and all the clergy, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of July, for the pastoral care of the sick. Let us pray that the sacrament of the anointing of the sick bestows the Lord's strength to those who receive it and to their loved ones, and that it may become for everyone an ever more visible sign of compassion and hope. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Please kneel as we pray to Nuestra Señora de Guía. O gracious and loving Virgin Mary, our Immaculate Mother, the all-powerful Father in His divine plan of redemption has done great things for you. O Mary, full of grace, you were chosen to be the mother of the Redeemer. Your humility and faith are jewels before the eyes of God. With a singular grace, you became a witness and participant in the unfolding of the mystery of God's love for humanity, revealed in full at the death of Jesus on the cross. From the cross, Jesus gave you to us to be our mother too. Full of confidence, we, your children, come to your loving kindness and are pleading for your maternal intercession to our beloved Son, that he may be sustained with his light in this perilous time, that our fidelity to our baptismal identity is constantly being challenged by the world. I humbly implore you, to pray for us in our needs, especially. If this be for my salvation and for the greater glory of the ever-loving God, O oh, sweet Mary, aid us always in our daily journey. Console us in our afflictions you who are the first among the disciples of your Son, pray for the Church to remain steadfast in the faith. Guide us to your Son, our risen Lord, who is our way, truth, and the life. Teach us, his disciples, on how to love your Son perfectly and grow in hope that at the end of our pilgrimage on earth, we may be admitted into the Father's house in the fullness of life and grace. O Mary, Nuestra Madre Iverhen de Guia, pray for us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is a votive mass in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Please all stand. Come to the table, enter his presence, feast 
begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The way of the just is smooth. The path of the just you make level. Yes, for your way and your judgments, O Lord, we look to you. Your name and your title are the desire of our souls. My soul yearns for you in the night. Yes, my spirit within me keeps vigil for you. When your judgment dawns upon the earth, the world's inhabitants learn justice. O Lord, you mete out peace to us, for it is you who have accomplished all we have done. O Lord, oppressed by your punishment, we cried out in anguish under your chastising. As a woman about to give birth writhes and cries out in her pains, so were we in your presence, O Lord. We conceived and writhed in pain, giving birth to wind. Salvation we have not achieved for the earth. The inhabitants of the world cannot bring it forth. But your dead shall live, their corpses shall rise. Awake and sing, you who lie in the dust. For your dew is the dew of light, and the land of shades gives birth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From heaven, the Lord looks down on the earth. From heaven, the Lord looks down on the earth. 
You, O Lord, abide forever, and your name through all generations. You will arise and have mercy on Zion, for it is time to pity her. For her stones are dear to your servants, and her dust moves them to pity. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute, and not despised their prayer. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. Let this be written for the generation to come, and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. From heaven, the Lord looks down on the earth. Please stand for the Holy Gospel. Come to me, all who you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. Working in the farm is no joke. Working in the farm is no joke. Mahirap. From the unpredictable weather to the attacks of pests, all these add to the fact that there is no assurance in agriculture. Di po ba? Oh, eh, di mo makontrol yung weather. Oh, di mo alam kung kailan babagyo ng malakas. Oh, yung mga peste, kailan aatake. Eh, there's no assurance in agriculture. Kaya, kung nahihirapan po kayo no, sa trabaho ninyo ngayon, oh, tandaan ninyo, oh, wala namang madaling trabaho. Kanya-kanyang hirap lang yan. Kanya-kanyang peste lang yan. No? May peste sa trabaho ninyo, eh may peste rin naman no? sa farm. No? Diba? But despite the struggle of working in the field, there are aids that can be used to make things lighter. May mga bagay na magagamit para makatulong, mapagaan ang anumang mabigat. Say for an instance, in plowing, oh, sa pag-aararo, the field, oh, to make it easier for the plowing, 
we have animals to help us. And to make lighter for the animal, we have yoke. Oh, alam niyo po ba yung yoke? Sa Tagalog, yung pamatok. Oh, nakakita na ba kayo ng kalabaw na merong uh, kahoy sa kanyang leeg? Oh, yun yung yoke. Yun yung pamatok. Oh, yung kalabaw, ginagamit natin para mapagaang ang pag-aararo. Yung pamatok, the yoke, is used to make the plowing for the animal lighter. Without the yoke, the burden would be passed on to the animal. Without the yoke, it would be difficult for the animal to shoulder the burden. So we use yoke to make things lighter. But to make the burden light, we have to have a yoke. Kailangan mayroong pamatok. Pero pagagaanin lang niya, hindi niya tatanggalin ang hirap. Hindi ipapasa sa pamatok, kundi dalawa kayo, yung hayop at yung pamatok. Pinapagaang lang ng pamatok ang pasanin. Ibig sabihin, papasanin pa rin ang anumang mabigat. Papasanin pa rin ang hayop. Pero may katulong siyang pamatok para pagaanin ang lahat. This is what Jesus is referring to in our gospel when He said, For my yoke is easy and my burden light. He is the yoke that makes the burden light. Jesus is our yoke that would make our burden light. So, His invitation is to take my yoke upon you and learn from me. Learn from me. Learn from Jesus. This is the key to make our burden light. Ang matuto sa paraan ni Jesus, hindi sa paraan mo, paraan ni Jesus. Hindi sa alam mo, sa turo ni Jesus. At times, when life becomes heavy, we tend to drop everything just not to feel the burden. Di ba ganon? Pag mabigat na, ang sabi, bitawan mo. Some would look for someone else to pass on the burden and let them carry the burden. But that's not how we make our burden lighter. Hindi ganun. Hindi ka naghahanap ng tao na mapapasahan. Hindi mo binibitawan ang bigat. What you should do? Go to Jesus. Use Jesus because He is the yoke that would make our burden light. Kaya tayo naliligaw, kaya ang tao nasisira dahil kapag nabibigatan sa dalahin sa buhay, mali ang ginagawang paraan. Not the way of Jesus. Hindi mo kailangan bitawan. Hindi mo kailangan ipasa sa iba. Kaya yung iba, no, pag mabigat na ang pro problema, mabigat na ang dalahin, anong ginagawa? No? Magiinom. No? Ipapasa sa bote. Eh, wala matutulong yan. No? Anong gagawin? Hahanap ng iba. No? May problema sa misis, hahanap ng ibang babae. Eh, wala dyan yung problema. Don't pass on the burden to others. Go to Jesus. Why? Because He will surely make your burden lighter. This is what Jesus is offering to us who labor and burdened in life. Tayo mga napapagal at nabibigatan, Jesus is telling us that we can call on Him for help. We can learn from His ways to make things lighter. And we have Jesus 
to help us carry all our burdens in life. You know, one reason why your life is in burdensome is because you don't have Jesus with you. Kapag mabigat ang yung buhay, isang senyales yan na wala si Jesus sa inyo. Kasi hindi yan mabigat kung kasama mo si Jesus. Kaya kung mabigat na, punta kay Jesus. Lapitan si Jesus, pumunta sa simbahan, hindi sa kung saan-saan. Because surely, Jesus will make things light. My dear brothers and sisters, when life becomes heavy, learn from Jesus. For He is our yoke that will make things light and easy. Amen. Please so stand. When we, like the biblical Job, have no peace nor ease and have no respite from troubles, the Lord Jesus invites us to find rest in Him. Let us bear the easy yoke of Christ so as to find the rest from our burden. For every prayer we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, you have made us for yourselves, and our hearts are restless until we rest in you. Let us not be drawn to the attractions of this world, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Your rest does not bypass suffering and death, but passes through them, opening a path in the abyss, transforming evil into good, Help us embrace and not run away from your redeeming cross, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May workers, farmers, wage earners, and others who bear the burden and the heat earn a decent living for themselves and their families and have ample time to rest to recover their strength, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the Blessed Virgin Mary turn her gracious gaze upon her children who are still mourning and sighing in this valley of tears and the people who are on pilgrimage towards the home of the Heavenly Father, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Like Lazarus who rests in the bosom of Abraham, may the dead Enjoy paradise where Lazarus is poor no longer, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community, those who seek intercession of Virgen de Guia, and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, may our work be a participation in your creation and a manifestation of our human dignity. Free us from the burden and worries that enslave us and let us find rest in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered. No request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May your voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Thank you. 
Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her serve worthily the mysteries of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today is Thursday, the day of our Nuestra Señora de Quilla. Iyukupong inyong ulo para sa pagbabasbas. Ama naming mapagmahal, sanhi ng pag-ibig mong wagas. Ibinigay mo sa amin si Yeso Cristo na iyong anak, ang sa amin ay mag-akay sa landas, upang kami ay makupkup mong lahat. Hinihiling namin na iyong igawad ang pagbabasbas sa kanilang pagdalakbay at paglalayag sa mundong ibabaw. Dalisayin mo ang kanilang mga pangarap at hangarin para sa isang matiwasay na buhay ayon sa iyong pamantayan. Bigyan mo sila ng nagaalab na pag-ibig at pananalig na di matitinag upang ang puso at isip ay manatili sa iyong liwanag na bigay. Sila iyong ingatan at ipagsanggalang sa mga panganib na dumadaan na sa bawat hakbang ang gabay mong handog na si Yesu Kristo ang sa kanila ay maging tanglaw na di mapaparam. Alang-alang sa mga panalangin ni Maria ang aming ina, ang Virgen de Gia. Mataglay nila ang kinalulugdan mong kabanalan. San mandako sila mapadpad ay makilala bilang mga alagad ni Yesu Kristo. At kung matapos na ang kanilang pagdalakbay dito sa lupang ibabaw, ay ipagkalob mo na kanilang sapitin bilang mga hinirang ang daungan diyan sa iyong piling mo sa kalangitan at may galak na mamalas ang di magwawakas mong kagandahan. Hinihiling namin ito sa ngalan ni Yeso Kristo na aming Panginoon. Amen. Life is heavy without Christ. When life becomes heavy, it means you don't have Christ. Go to Jesus because He will make things light and easy. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has ended. Go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh,